Hi, everybody. This is a journey through history, the art and artifacts of Van Kirk and Helen Nelson. I thought you'd enjoy seeing what I've been up to. I got to go through his two houses and select the work for the exhibit and just had the best time doing it. Some illustrated letters from Charlie Russell and Fred Fellows. Um, Joseph Sharp, Sidney Lawrence McKinley, it's another Fred Fellows. Here's a little Charlie Russell that's really sweet in the back. Ace Powell. Some artifacts. And here's some Native American clothing and headdress. This eagle feather bonnet is in our uh, private collection that Kirk donated to us. Some Charlie Fritz's, Buck Helbig, and that's a gorgeous piece, isn't it? Hawk and Ensign, Joseph DeYoung, and here's a big fairy. And here we are um, with some two little old Errol de Camp and another John Ferry. And I'm going to try to get my staff to shut up so they don't get in the video here. <laughs> This is a Fred Fellows sculpture. It's huge in the entranceway. A Navajo blanket and a really sweet old antique picture by William Pennington. Now this is what it looks like from the front of the gallery when you walk in. The panning. Say hi guys to everybody back hi east. <laughs> Those are the voices you heard in the background. Okay. Liz hears voices all the time. <laughs> Maynard Dixon, Grace Hudson, <laughs> Laura Gilpin, and some more wonderful artifacts here. A Borg, another Hudson. I just love this little piece. It's so sweet. And this is the Navajo. We have we have it. Um, I have it separated into three regions. This is the Southwest. This is Plains, and the other room was <clears throat> Northwest. We have a wonderful marine saddle. A hike, a, a pack train it's called, and I'm sorry the lighting's not so good on this. Fred Fellows, Edward Marine, William Crawford playing dress up, Charlie Russell playing dress up. Another Fred Fellows. Joseph Sharp, Plenty Coup. Earl Heike, Bronk to Breakfast. I just love some of the sculptures we got. Some antique photos. L.A. Huffman. O.C. Seltzer. Wonderful watercolor. Borg. Horseman. This is a Charlie, Mer uh, Charlie Russell um, illustrated letter, too. I don't know if you can see the illustration on there. It's worth about 125000 Another Ace Powell. This is a more contemporary um, sculptor. His name is Lyndon Pomeroy that Kirk knew from the Montana Arts Council. Henry Farney, Sitting Bull. Some wonderful artifacts, heavy duty beadwork and moccasins. And these really amazing blankets. One of them's eight feet long. The beadwork's incredible. These two next two walls are probably the most expensive pieces in the show. It's O.C. Seltzer, Charlie Graham is one of my faves, Rudolph Kurtz, here's a Paxson, probably one of his better pieces, or best pieces. This one has such a sense of humor, Gary Schilt. Another Paxson coming up, another Sitting Bull, Fred Fellow sculptor, sculpture that I just adore. And this piece is probably one of the most famous ones he has. It's been shown in a lot of the Western collections. It's called, Yes, the Mice People Always Make Their Nest in the Heads of Dead Buffalo People Ever Since the Night. It's a Charlie Merritt, Charles Russell. This is one of my faves, Wolfgang Pugziba. He's considered an abstract realist. This one is actually in our, our private collection that Kirk uh, donated to the museum. And here's the last one by Paul Dyke. It's called After the Hunt. So I hope you enjoyed my little tour of the gallery. See you guys soon. Bye.